will put me at odds between different fans. You ready for it? Both. Bet you weren't expecting that. Now, a lot of people are like, well, Dan, you play a lot of Xbox games over PS3. I've had my Xbox since 2005, my 360. I've had my PS3 since 2010, people. So therefore, I've had a lot more time to accumulate, get comfortable with the Xbox. I've always had an Xbox over a PlayStation. But I like them both for different reasons. Both have ups, both have downs. I'm not a fanboy of either. I like them both. I love my PS3. I love my 360. I use them for different reasons. I use them differently, obviously. But I'm saying I love them both. And I'll continue to use both. I'm trying this year to split up games and get more PS3 games that are split. Because normally what I do is I'd only get the PS3 exclusives for PS3. And then leave the uh, 360 games for like cross-console games I'd get on 360. Well, this time I'm not. I'm going to switch it up a bit. Like example for Inversion, I'm getting it on PS3. Asura's Wrath, I'm getting it on PS3. Things like that. You know, I'm going to switch it up. That way the PS3 fans can be happy as well. So... Next question comes from Tiger 100 Able. You're able to be a Tiger 100 times. That's impressive, dude. Damn. Let's look at his question. Who's the meanest teacher you've had in your life? Mine was my sixth grade teacher, Rochelle Ferry. And when I thought I was allergic to nuts, she didn't believe me. She made me eat them anyway. She even treated a detention if, if I threw up once. I did. Just in the water fountain. Let me get a drink. What a bitch. That, that woman. That beast. Jesus, man, how did you survive? Especially with your peanut allergy. I would have taken those nuts and shoved it down her throat. Oh, wait a minute. We did that already last night. That was so stupid. I've had, uh, like anybody in elementary school, I've had teachers no one liked. Uh, for me, it was my music teacher at the time. I remember my fifth grade music teacher. Oh, my God. Nobody liked her. She was so stuck up. It was ridiculous. But I, I don't know, man. It. It's under the bridge. I'm 21 now. It doesn't bother me. I'm sure I could go up to her and give her a hug. I wouldn't be upset. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. I'm saying I would be fine with it. Anyways, Derek asked again, what? Oh, no. No. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, I skipped one and I came down. Sorry. Okay. My bad. I did it out of order. My bad. We, we got it done, though. That's good. All right. Mosmic. Mosmic. Hope I'm saying that correctly. My question is, are you interested in MMOs? If you are, what are your thoughts on the upcoming game called Gale Wars 2? I've never been a huge fan of MMOs. The last MMO game I've actually was into, believe it or not, was Test Drive Unlimited. That was an MMO racing game. Really cool. But I've never been a fan of the MMOs, like RPGs, like Warcraft or anything like that. So the thing is, I wanted to do Star Wars The Old Republic. You can't. You have to pay monthly to use it. I, don't play, I play so many different games that I can't do that. I wish they just made it an RPG. Oh. Just a playthrough of an RPG. I would love to play another Nice Old Republic game. Because I love the first one and the second one. But whatever. I'm sure a lot of people love it. I'm sure a lot of you guys have played it. I'm sure you guys are playing it right now as we speak. So it looks good to me, but it's too long. You know, you can't play through it. It's too damn long. Anyway. Um, and my thoughts on Guild Wars. No interest. No offense. No interest. Billy-ish. Bilty-ish. Bill Tyish, wow, I don't know. Dan, my question, is you going to do a co-op co mission of Battlefield 3? I tried. I hated them. I didn't. I was doing it with Recon. I canceled. I said, screw this. That's how it went down. Not even kidding. Um, ZachQ5200. What's your favorite Ellie Noir DLC? Actually, it's a toss-up. I like Consoles Car because I love vehicle-related things. I love the, the traffic desk. I also liked uh, Naked City. It's one of the longer ones. Nicholson Electroplating was pretty good, too. They were all pretty good DLCs. Some of them were shorter than others, but I liked them all fairly evenly. All right, another one from him. What's your favorite game developer or publisher? Favorite game developer, hands down, Bioware. That's it. Publisher, I don't really care. Couldn't care less. Maybe Rockstar. But uh, Bioware, favorite developer. I almost got a job there because their headquarters are actually located in Edmonton, my city where I live in. And... Uh, that's where they make Mass Effect. Uh, the Old Republic was made here and in Austin. They have a thing in Austin. Now they have a thing in Montreal. They're really branching out. But all the main games like Nice Old Republic, Jade Empire, were all made in my city. And I went there, and honestly, it's a gamer's paradise. Their office is amazing. Trust me, you guys could probably live there. I would. It's crazy. They told me. I was early. I was half an hour early for my interview. And what did they do? 
go play Mass Effect. So I played Mass Effect for half an hour. <laughs> they did. They encouraged that. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, Chosen Girl 97. What do you think Tomb Raider will be rated? Hope T. I think it is the T. So you don't think you have to worry about that. Will be your. Do you think there'll be guns? Of course. Do I have a celebrity crush? Do I? Not really. I'm um, just trying to think. There are a few that I think are fall hoin. Um, just trying to think a bit. There's a few. I don't know. I don't really have a. I don't have a celebrity crush. There's no point. But uh, there's the celebrities that are sexier with them titties and whatnot. But other than that, not really. And <laughs> Demi Lovato. Don't even know who it is. I heard of it, but I don't know what he does or if that's a chick. I don't <laughs> see. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. So I guess that answers your question, doesn't it? Anyway, comment removed, comment removed, comment removed. Why? Making spelling, spelling, spelling errors? There's a backspace, you know? You can just backspace. Anyway. Oh, okay, this one comes from Armin Qureshi. He's got two questions for me. How much money do you make from your current job? I'm not going to say that. And is that your parents or family members' house you live in? I already covered that. It's not my parents' house. It's uh, family friends. So, anyway. Dietmar Visser. Is that how you say your name? <laughs> I know you've been uh, you've commented many times, but Dietmar Visser. Visser. Uh, I'm going to call you Dietmar Visser from now on, sir, okay? Doesn't it feel weird that you're talking to, well, nothing? I'm talking to you guys. I mean, it may seem like a camera. It may seem like a computer screen. But I'm speaking to the group. So it's like everyone's watching me live. I should have done this live. Wouldn't that have been way better? Anyway. And do I like strawberries? Who doesn't? I love them. Moving on. Animal King. Once again, I believe you asked me a question earlier. Are you going to do a playthrough of Resident Evil Operation Sin? Yes. Rockin' City. Uh, end of the trailer. Release date was March 20th. Yep. I know. I'm aware of that one. Said you would pre order it now, okay. Play through new Transformers. Mm, doubt it. The last one sucked. The one before that I heard was good, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, remember how I said I was doing more games this year? Maybe it'll be added. We'll, we'll take a look. You can do co op on Mass Effect 3 if it's in it, yes. Not the main story, but there is a co op and multiplayer feature, ironically. So I'll be doing that as well. Chilled on. Oh, by the way, that comes from Penny Pals. Chilled on. How often will you return to Skyrim? Already a lot of it. I've already answered that whenever I get time. Honestly, that's all I can really say because I, I don't know my schedule for Skyrim. I've just got it. I'll do it when I can. How often? Uh, yeah. And have you ever shot a gun before? A real gun? Never. I've shot an airsoft, but that's about it. Uh, and a paintball, but that's it. How much money do you make? I'm not, I'm not, I can't say. I'm sorry. What games are you excited for? 2012. My The one I'm really excited for, a few. I'm excited for Twisted Metal. I'm excited for... Um, Mass Effect 3, I'm excited for Resident Evil 6, that was released, I'm excited for Hitman Absolution, I'm excited for, there's a lot man, uh, I'd have to picture it, but those are some of the games I'm really looking forward to. First game you played ever, whoa, we're going back a ways my friends, I think it was probably Super Mario Bros. 2, either that or Tetris, 90s man, 90s, early 90s, gotta love it, gotta love it. Because I'm an early 90 guy myself. I'd have to be. Anyway, that's it for that page. We're going to number five. Sorry, my eye is a little itchy. Drake. What's up, Drizzy Drake? How you doing? Do you like cooperative tactical third-person shooters like Ghost Recon or Rainbow Six Vegas 2? Yes, actually. I played Vegas. I didn't play Vegas 2. I played Vegas 1. I played like the old Rainbows, like Rainbow Six, Rainbow Six 3, and all that. I love them. Some of the first online Xbox games right there. Pretty cool. Uh, Ghost Recon, I, I don't mind them. The Ghost Recons were better, older, but as they got on, they started. But the, I will be doing, or er, I did Advanced Warfighter, Graw. I'll be doing Future Soldier this year. It got delayed, I can't remember, till summer, I think. So we'll be doing it, or May, I think it's May. We'll be doing it then. Don't you get bored of RPGs? I've been playing a really long game, it's boring after a while. Like, I love Skyrim, but after a while, I got bored. I didn't. I mean, it depends. Skyrim's different. The thing with that type of RPG, I love advancing. Does that make sense? Like, I love to get upgraded weapons. I love getting the better armor, the better this, the better that, making as much money as you can. That's what I love to love about them. You know, the, the I just love leveling up. The whole thing is fun to me. So I probably could play it a lot. I mean, yeah, 
it would get kind of tiresome, but I was having fun right up to the end there. I was not bored at all, and I'm, I would do more. Not a problem. And this goes to the question, are you going to play the Star Wars The Old Republic? No. No time, and you have to pay monthly, so I wouldn't make it worth the while. And that comes X new Znu Razor. Tinker Tom. A few questions from him. Name a few of your favorite PS2 and 1 titles. Um, like Crash Bandicoot. Um, Mm, mm, um, I don't know why I can't. Gran Turismo, uh, GTA. I actually played a few of the GTAs on there. Um, you know, those ones I didn't play too much, but uh, those are some of my favorites. Was I disappointed by the ending in G Gears of War 3? Not really. I think it ended okay. I mean, it could have been a little more epic, but like I've actually preferred Gears of War 2 story to Gears of War 3, but I still liked how it ended. Solid. It went out with a bang. Funniest thing you've ever witnessed. Hmm. There's a lot of... Whenever I, when I think that, I think of a lot of falling... People falling on the ice. It's pretty funny. People walking the walls, texting and walking into things. That kind of thing's funny. I can't think of one particular thing, but... Something like that. <laughs> and Calzor, are you going to play Minecraft? I get asked that so often. I'm not doing Minecraft. It doesn't have an ending. I'm sorry. I mean, apparently it does now that it's coming out on 360 and PSN uh, or PS3. But um, sorry, never really fancied it. I went British there. <laughs> Swagful. What game are you planning to do next? Next full game is Never Dead. Comes out on January 31st, a week from Tuesday. Lucy, are you going to do a new tour of your basement? Yep, I mentioned that earlier. Ray Mysterio. Ooh, Mr. Mysterio himself. Will you ever live stream? That's something I want to do. I know that YouTube has a feature now that you can do that, and uh, partners have the access to do that. So I'm thinking about doing a live stream and then keeping the recorded footage. Like, I was thinking about it. Maybe I should have done it like this, but I'm kind of in a rush. Like, this isn't live, obviously. I'm recording it. But you can do the stream and then upload it as a recorded. It records while you stream. So that would have been cool. Anyway, so yeah, it is something I want to do. Steal your soul. What is your other job? And will you be being Resident Evil? Okay. Yes, yeah, Rockin' City I'm doing. I'm assuming that's why you're asking. Other job. Essentially, I drive. I move. That's all you gotta know. Okay? I'll be playing. Yes. I will be beeping. Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. <laughs> well, let's beep it. You and I, together. Beep it. Let's beep it. Come on, everybody. Put your hands up. Let's go beep that game like it's never been beeped before. Meep, <laughs> meep. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're closing down, closing down. Coming up to 47 minutes. Wow, 47 for almost 48 minutes. What game story did you like the most? Mass Effect. Hands down. Or Star Wars. I can't say. They're so good, man. There's so many games that you could choose. I'm sorry, I can't really pick one. Even though you had... Oh, sorry, that comes from 131313 Phillips. The J, 1976, even though you had Eleanor number 8 on the list, where do you rank it as a game overall? Because if you guys remember, I gave it a 10 when I rated it, which was not accurate at all. I'd probably give Resident Evil, or not Resident Evil, um, Eleanor about an 8 for me. Like, even 8? I liked it, but there's no replayability. I was just on cloud 9 with how good the story was. I loved it. I love that kind of game. So, I wouldn't, it's not a 10, though. It's not a perfect game. But that's just my thought. Wait, what kind of music do you like? It comes from the iPod. I already answered that question. So, sorry. K Kalikuk HD. Have you, uh, have you any plans to go to a gaming convention? I kind of want to, but I don't really know if I have the time or money right now to really do something like that. It's an option. I wanted to do that. Like, I don't know if you guys know Zasher from XL Gameplay. Him and I have kind of been associates. And uh, he wants to go to one. He wants to do a live drunk gaming because if you guys watched it, he did Drunk Gaming with me, episode two. That'd be cool. I'd like to meet Zasher in real life. I wouldn't have a problem with that. And it'd be kind of cool to take in the sights. Although, I don't know. Let's just say it's an it's an option I've been thinking of. I just need to make this more full time before I can really do that. But it's an idea. Because I'd have to fly there. Chances are I'd be in the States, right? So, okay. W. Silbor, 97. I got asked this question and thought it was interesting, so I'll ask you the same. If your parents didn't exist and you had a choice of your parents could be, who would you pick? 
I don't know, man, because my parents are like a little older, so they're knowledgeable and they've taught me well. So I wouldn't pick anybody else because I've seen these other parents and they suck. Like even these celebrity parents, they suck. So screw you guys. I'm going home. <laughs> All right, the Dilly Do Four. Love the vids. Keep them coming. I shall. I'm starting a YouTube channel myself, and not it's not a gaming channel. But what did you do to get views when you started? Okay, this is the thing I wanted to talk about. It's very, very difficult to get views. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, I mean, at first, it's like slow. You got to upload the best you can. So, like, highest quality. People nowadays don't want to see you recording stuff from a potato. Um, good quality videos. Unique videos. Make sure you're unique yourself, your own personality. Don't try and copy somebody else because they'll be like, oh, I can just go watch this guy who did that. Be yourself. Bring something new to whatever you're doing like whatever type of videos you're making, make it as new and original as you can. That'll give you a big stepping stone and it'll really help your career on YouTube. Um, so I do recommend you try that. Post videos often, but not too often. Like right now I kind of got a thing going so people know that I'm supposed to post videos often, but be smart, put time into it, be patient, and things will come your way. Trust me, patience is a huge thing. It's a virtue, okay? So don't worry if no, no one's come or watching your stuff for a while. It took me, I this channel opened up in 2007. Actually, now that I think about it, it's damn near almost a two-year anniversary of Dan QA, or not two-year anniversary. Um, what was it? Five-year anniversary coming up of Dan Q8000, guys. Can you imagine? I've had this channel for five years. And two-year anniversary of my first playthrough, just about. So it's pretty crazy milestones. You just got to stick with it. Because for the first, what? Since I started in 2010, how many years is that with little to no subscribers? Many. And I was posting videos. So it's got to be patient. Treat it as a hobby. And if you feel it's going to go somewhere, take it and just make it make it work. That's the best advice I can give. Anyway, next question.